Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I've got a very magical haul for you guys. I wasn't planning on filming this just yet, but over the next few days I'm not going to be able to work. I have some family things to attend to, so I would really appreciate your patience regarding my uploading at the moment. But yeah, so I'm going to be filming a magical haul. I went to the Warner Brothers Studio tour this week. I actually went there for a very special reason, which I do want to make a whole video about next, which is I worked with Warwick Davis, who is of course Professor Flitwick, and he also plays Grip Hook too. So that was crazy. I kind of feel like I dreamt it, but we're not going to be talking about that today. So obviously when I was there, I, I went to the gift shop. How can you not? And of course I came home with some magical things. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I got and hopefully you like them and are going to enjoy this video because, oh my God, that shop is just full of dreams and and it's one of my favorite gift shops. So if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family, but let's go, because I cannot wait to show you what I got. Okay, so obviously I have two bags here. The one over here is actually stuff from a goodie bag because I went to their Harry Potter quiz night and they're actually doing that very soon so that you can book your own tickets and have a quiz night in the Great Hall. I definitely recommend it, it was very fun. So I'm gonna show you all of the goodies that I got gifted in there. But this bag over here is the stuff that I actually bought myself in the gift shop. So I think I'm actually gonna start off with the goodie bag and then show you what I chose from the gift shop at the end. So let's just get on into it. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God, there's actually some really special things in here that was given to me. I will also maybe talk about those at the end too. Oh my God. So the first thing in this bag is a Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry notebook. This is actually really nice. It's lined, I believe. I've not opened it yet because I kind of want to keep it sealed for a little bit, but you can get these from the gift shop there and these cost 13 pounds. It's a quite thick notebook as well and it's soft kind of paperback, but yeah, it's really nice. It gets you kind of in the mood to do Hogwarts spell work at school. Yes. The next thing in the goodie bag was of course a chocolate frog and I did open it and I think I'm actually gonna eat this one because I do have about three of these already on my shelf and I'm just gonna end up looking like a Honeyduke shop if I keep just storing them. So this is obviously a chocolate frog and it is solid chocolate. It's not hollow like an Easter egg and you will not believe what chocolate frog card I got, I've been wanting this one for so long and I squealed when I opened it. So yeah, I got the Godric Gryffindor one. I'm so happy that I finally have the founder of my own Hogwarts house. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm definitely gonna keep hold of that card because definitely a special one. And I believe that these are around eight pounds in the gift shop, but you get a lot of chocolate. The packaging is beautiful. And of course you get the collectible chocolate frog wizard cards. So that's really cool. and. Isn't it beautiful? I think this is one of my favorite things that you can get from the Honeydukes. Yes. What else is in here? So the next thing, I actually have one of these already. It is opened because I was playing with this when we were doing the quiz in the Great Hall. This is a Harry Potter feather quill pen with a ballpoint tip. And it's just simply a white feather. It looks like this. I kind of want to get my wand and be like, Wingardium Leviosa. I'm really sorry if you can hear cars and stuff. I have to have my window open at the moment. We've still got the heat wave. I know, I keep talking about the heat, but it is hot here in the UK. People are like falling into the road and lorries are because the tarmac's melting. <laughs> anyway, going off topic here. So yes, there is a beautiful quill pen. I love these. They make me feel really, really magical. The price of this is $7.95 if you want to get one of these. And I'm not sure, it must be a real feather. I don't know if it's fake or not. Can you fake a feather quill? I'm not sure. Either way, very beautiful. You feel magical when you're writing with it. And got another one for my collection. I think I have three now. This isn't really something you can buy, but this is the note card that was um, given to us in the Great Hall when we were doing our quiz. It's kind of like an owl's card, you know, when you're doing your OWLs. And it says, outstanding, exceeds expectations, acceptable, poor, dreadful, and troll. And it shows you which category you would be in depending on how many points that you got. I believe that our team was actually in outstanding. We came third, we were very close to winning but never mind. My friend Sophie, aka The Bakey, actually won the house quiz that night, so well done to them. Now there are a couple of little 
things in the bottom of this bag, but I'm going to talk about these last because you cannot get these. These were gifted to me as a reward after I did the broadcast with Warwick Davis, and I'm freaking out that I have these in this bag because, as I said, you can't get them yet. Maybe you will be able to get them in the future. But let's move on to the gift bag of joy of things that I bought myself from the gift shop. Okay, so here is the gift bag that you get whenever you buy something from the tour itself, and ah, there is magical goodies in here. Here. I'm going to start off with probably the biggest thing in this bag and look it's a chocolate frog plushie and this is so sweet I really wanted this because I have a chocolate frog Instagram planned but yeah he actually smells like chocolate and he's really squidgy I think I'm gonna keep him on his little cardboard base because yeah I just think he's very magical sitting on there these cost £17.95 so about £18 but he smells absolutely delicious. I love this so much. I think it's such a good idea that they've made it smell like chocolate. I just think that's really, really cool. So this is definitely one of my favorite things that I picked up from the Studio Tour gift shop. Sticking with the chocolate frog theme, I actually found something that was beautiful and I have seen this once before. This is a chocolate frog wristwatch and it's beautiful. I believe the strap is leather or maybe faux leather is probably faux but the clock face itself looks like the chocolate frog packaging and then here i don't know if you can see i'll do a close-up but there is a tiny little baby chocolate frog charm and he's so sweet i'm definitely going to keep this for special occasions i just thought it was absolutely beautiful i'd love to see more stuff like this i mean the funny thing is i don't actually wear watches that often but this makes me want to wear a watch all day, every day, because it's so, so sweet. This cost me £32, and it's just beautiful quality, and even on the back it says Harry Potter, Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Ah, oh, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the nicest things that I saw this time that I, when I visited the gift shop, I just had to have it. Now, the gift shop at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour actually do a wide range of postcards. I love their postcards. I actually have about five in this frame behind me and I picked up this one and I actually got five one for me and the other four I thought would be nice to send to you guys when I do giveaways and stuff I thought this would be really sweet so yes this is of course of Hogwarts Castle uh, it's got the first years in the boats when they get off the Hogwarts Express and then Hagrid leads them to the boats and they go over the lake and they get to school so yeah I got five of those these were one pound each which I think is beautiful they're really thick and glossy really lovely quality really pleased with those I cannot wait to send some of you guys an owl okay so this is an apple lollipop from honey jukes I don't think I've seen these before I love lollipops this was £1.50 it's apple flavor I definitely bought this to consume not to collect and put on my shelves I cannot wait to eat that it's gonna be a very lovely magical treat for me I might even have that later on okay so I have two things left from this bag I also have two more things to show you after that which are very special. So the next thing is a keyring. How beautiful is this? This cost £14. Now I know that sounds quite expensive for a keyring, but this is a miniature beautiful replica of Professor Slughorn's hourglass and it actually works. The sand does go through it. It's really beautiful. I actually got the Slughorn hourglass if you watched my Nova Collection haul. I actually got that a few weeks ago. So to have a miniature version on my keyring, I was just like wow and I'd never seen these before either I don't know if they're new or I just missed them before but yeah if you're a Slytherin I would definitely recommend that I mean I'm not a Slytherin so I recommend it to all of you just because it's very very beautiful it's a very luxurious keyring I really hope that it doesn't break but it's really really pretty and I couldn't resist what can I say so the last thing that I got from the gift shop now I don't normally buy these but I thought you know what I am gonna buy one it is one of those Harry Potter vinyl figures and this is the mystery minis so they're in a blind bag I've never bought one of these before this was nine pounds and I think I'm actually gonna open it on camera with you guys today so let's see which one we get there are many options on the back so I think you can get six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four there's 14 options that we could get in here and I'm very excited if I was to pick one to get I think it would be the Cornish pixie or maybe Luna 
Oh, yeah, or maybe even the Thestral or the Owl. Any of those I think I'll be happy with. Oh, there's a little Snape as well. So it has numbers on the back and it lets you know how rare they are, which I think is pretty cool. So let's open it on up and see which one that I got. I'm very excited. Okay, so I've taken the packaging off now. Oh, I'm quite sad that these rip out. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we have our mystery mini in here. Let me see what... Okay, I think I kind of know what it is already. It's none of the ones that I was hoping for, but I still don't know who it is. I felt a sorting hat and I did. Oh, I have Harry. I have Harry and he has his little sorting hat and he's on the little stall as well. These are actually really, really sweet. I totally understand why people collect these. I think they're really, really cute. They're a lot cuter than the big pop funkos but yeah i do like those they're really really cute i love how his little body is just like sort me he's very very cute so yeah he's the one that i got in the mystery minis how sweet is that these are actually made by funko as well which is interesting that makes sense so i'm gonna reveal what is left inside here and then i have a really cool thing to show you at the end. So I was at the tour and I was there from about four o'clock until 11 p.m. at night because obviously I was there for an event and then I was working afterwards so I was there quite late and you know that you can get those little Harry Potter pieces of parchment which come out of the Goblet of Fire. You get given them there or you can ask for them from one of the interactors and they will give you one that says Harry Potter. Now I was talking to Becky who was my personal guide for the day and I was saying oh I'd really love to see the other three names that came out of the other three champions names that came out of the Goblet of Fire especially Fleur's because it's absolutely beautiful and I said do you do those and she said no we don't do those or give those out to the public I don't know if they're going to do that I think they might be doing it so anyway after I did my work with Warwick and I had the event and everything Emily who's one of my very good friends now I guess from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour she came up to me she works there and she kind of came over to me with a hand full of these um, so I have all of the names now. This is one of the official names that come out of the Goblet of Fire. This is of course Fleur's, Fleur de la Cour, and it's got gold bits around the edge. The middle looks burnt. So oh, I can't believe I have these. I'm very lucky, I do know. I also have a Cedric Diggory name, which has been burnt around the edges as well. And of course, I also have Victor Crumbs too. So I now have the full set of the champions that came out of the Goblet of Fire and I am going to treasure these for a very very long time I feel quite special I'm not going to lie but this one is my favorite I've wanted this for such a long time and it's just beautiful like look how stunning this is <gasps> yes this this filled me with so much happiness <laughs> okay so the big finale is next and I was not expecting this. This was a gift from the studio tour for working with them on a broadcast. I'm not gonna get into that. We'll get into that on a whole different video, but I was ever so nervous. And afterwards, when it was finished, I, I just felt so happy. And Emily, the person that works there, that organized working there with, am I making sense? Probably not. Anyway, as a reward for doing stuff with them and a thank you, they came out and gave me this. Ah, ah, ah. This, if you don't know, is a print. There is only a thousand of these standard ones in the world. And this is by Mina Lima, the official graphic designers for Harry Potter. And it even has their little stamp here to prove that it's official. This is number 63 out of a thousand. And this is, of course, the Goblet of Fire, in case you didn't notice. So to have this and it's actually framed in glass too to be given something like this um i could have cried i genuinely could have cried i felt euphoric after that entire day i was tired but i was so happy so thank you so much to emily and everyone at the studio tour for spoiling me and welcoming me and just treating me so well. You always show me kindness. Yeah, I can't believe I have my very own Mina Lima print. I've always wanted one, one that I'm saving up for because the premium ones can be quite costly. I want um, one of the daily profit prints, but to have one of their 
beautiful Goblet of Fire prints, especially with the Goblet of Fire feature going on at the studio tour at the moment, it seemed very appropriate to be given that one. So thank you so much. And that's it. We've come to the end of this very special and magical haul. I hope you guys liked it. Please do let me know what was your favorite thing or maybe you had more than one favorite thing this time because there was a lot of awesome stuff. I would love to know. Leave your comments down below. Share your house pride with each other because I love it when you guys make friends. It makes me very happy. We are a whole community of wizards and witches. But yes, let's go. I will see you in my next video. Please do be a little bit patient with me. I'm not sure when my next video is going to be up because I have some home life family matters to tend to this week but um, I will obviously get back to making videos as soon as possible for you guys um, and I love you and thank you for all of your support and I will see you very soon. Bye guys!